cute. Okay, so I'm back. Let me disconnect her phone. Because she's watching the... She watching the phone. She watching her phone on my... On my, um... She watching the... From her phone on my... Television. So let me disconnect it. There we go. That's a good one. So what was I saying? I was talking about the medicine, right? So let me see if this works. I got the thing all the way up here. Okay. I don't think we can see anything down here. Oh yeah, see my thing. Alright, we're gonna put this over here. Let me um let me just sit down for a second because I have to go in there. My husband. Because I'm going to have to go in there where my husband is and I got to work with him. So, let's get back in the medical. I <laughs> keep going, going, taking my note, okay. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the medicine. So as I was saying, Junior had to be put on the machine because when, if if they was playing, if he was playing with his siblings and he was playing for a while, I could hear him trying to catch his breath. He be, and you can hear the wheezing, the wheezing. So the doctor had said, as soon as we hear that, put him on the machine. And then I had to come back like in a week's time or so and he had to be checked. And I guess the time frame that she did it, that she had me go and then come back, let her determine how bad it was, right? And so um, we had to, um, when he went back and got checked it, she said that he has asthma. He has bronchial asthma. That's what Mother Anderson and Taisha got. They got it bad in the lungs. I don't know whether... I don't really know the difference because I know that Damani's isn't, wasn't as bad as his. But when we got here, I was noticing that Damani was having issues. When they would go play, he would, like, be trying to breathe. So I took him, I made an appointment for him, and I thought I had missed the appointment, so I went back into the doctor's office, the pediatrician, and told them that I had missed the appointment. They made an appointment for April 4th, for both of them. So they say, may cause drowsiness. Do not take more than recommended. May cause drowsiness. Use care when operating a vehicle, vessel, a dangerous machine. So this is what they gave him. 
I, so I'm trying to see. I think he, they gave him two. It's for adults and children, six years and older. Two teaspoons daily. Do not take more than two teaspoons in 24 hours. So that's daily, though. That's once a day. Children two to under six years, one teaspoon daily. Do not take more than one teaspoon 25. Children under two years old. So this is two to six. Oh no, it's adults and children six years and older. So I don't I don't suffer from. Let me see what it is. It simply relieves the symptoms due to hay fever or other upper respiratory allergies. Runny nose, sneezing, itchy, warty eyes, itching of the nose or throat. Yeah, cause the, I'm looking in the mirror side. Cause the money would tell me that his throat itch. Yeah, he said, oh. I said, what's wrong? He said, my throat be itching. So now I'm seeing it's not an allergy. Cause I would be like, like he can't eat seafood. I think when he get close to seafood, he start itching or something like that be happening to him. So this is oral. It has ethyhistamine. And that, I could have sworn that was in Tylenol too. But, um, it's great flavor. He was only with some closed dose of cups. So I'm just going to two, two teaspoons. So they got these good. They got these as teaspoons. So good. So this is what it looks like in the bottle. So he got two of these. Make sure you take it. And just like I said, I thought it says 10. So two teaspoons would be 10 mil. ML. Well, see, they didn't. They didn't got it by ML. They got it by. Oh wait, they got something else in here. They got this. Oh no. They put an insurance card in the bag. So they also gave them this. Y'all seen it first? I haven't even read it yet. So this is Shake Well. Inhale and aerosol, 90 MCG per actionation. One puff as needed, inhalation every four hours for five days. He ain't got no refills with this. So that's crazy. He got two refills with this. So he got two bottles, right? They gave him two bottles. And each bottles, both bottles is two refills. I need to get a whole two. To um UPS. Cause I got a package I need to give to now. Try and try before you buy or buy and try something like that. So these is his medicine. And let me open this one and see what this is. Put that inside my drawer. I don't think y'all can see the drawer. Oh, no, no, what I did. Okay, let me leave that alone. I'm messing with my my thing. Okay, you see the little drawer? Door? That's a door. It goes to my dresser. That's the dresser right here. It goes all the way across with a mirror. But it has one of them doors that open. I never knew what that was for, but yeah, this is his inhaler. I don't want to too much touch it. What it looks like and that's what he needed because we found one here not in find one that was one that was inside some of the bags or one of the bags that we got from what's the name from the shelter and i saw it in there and i kept it on my dress oh, i'm looking behind the mirror but i kept it on my dresser and when he was going through all that i said you know what well let's puff Let's try it and puff. So his aunt, I'm looking in the mirror. His aunt, Danielle, was showing him what to do and how to do it. And he said when he did it, 
you could feel the difference in, you know, his breathing. So that's how we knew that. That's how I knew and came to the conclusion that he still was suffering from asthma. He still has symptoms of asthma. So, so how long is it last? It says no refills. It says this action of albuterol sulfate inhalation aerosol lasts up to four to six hours, and therefore it should not be used more frequently. And it said more, but they got the label over. I don't want to take the label off. So, since it's not given or refilled, maybe it's best. Let me see. It doesn't say how many pumps. It says C package insert for full prescribing information. So it's 200 metered inhalations. So he can do 200 of them. So when no refills, I guess it'll last for however long. So he needs to take this with him. That's, that's the main thing I wanted. I wanted to get him an inhaler because I was telling him that the other one that he had, he, um, it had ran out, so he didn't have no more. So I was like, you need that, you need to take that, and I'm gonna have to write a letter to his teacher. That if it ever comes down that he's out running, or he's like, I mean, he never actually had an attack, I don't think, but, because he never, I never experienced with him where he was trying to breathe like, and he and we had to run and hurry up and get that no thank god he never really experienced an attack like that the only thing i would notice is like if he's breathing he'll be playing out there with his kid with his kids with his siblings and his cousin and then he'd be saying i'm out of breath you know not tired not out of breath from being tired but out of breath from, you know, overexertion, can't hardly breathe. And then he coughing, 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 coughing. And then you can hear like phlegm up in it. I think when I heard that, I think that was, that had something to do with the cold. But anyway, we had one of these. And as I was, as I said, they, his aunt showed him how to use it. And it kind of helped when he pumped it. We asked him, that's better? And he was like, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it like going down. I said, okay. Is it helping you? You can feel it, but is it is it like loosen? Because he would, now that I'm thinking about it, he would tell me that his chest would be tight. It felt tight. Mm. Especially when he'd be running. He, I haven't heard him say that in a while. And the doctor was asking me, do anybody smoking? Do we have a cat? I said, yeah, we got a cat. He said, the cat and smoking is bad. So, I'm, in a sense, I'm glad the smoking is in the other side of the house. Yes? Bless you. When, my, when I was eating, my stomach didn't feel very good. So, what's wrong with your stomach? I don't know. Maybe you fall. You ate up the food? Let me show you how much I got. She's a picky. I don't know if you can hear my husband. So. Here we go. I wanted to eat something. I think I better eat me something. Give me some energy, because picking him up is no joke. It's no joke, picking him up. 
Okay, so just close it up. Close it up. And get ready to eat some more. Leave it on the table. Okay. Okay. I got my little food here. Let me see. It's probably cold. I got fried egg French toast. God is great and God is good and I thank you for my food by your hand on my sweet face. You don't know my daddy's sweet face when you pray. Just in hand, leave my hand and pray to be free and pray. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Amen. I gotta go put my teeth in. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Push that back in there. I don't know why that's out like that. No, just push it. Yeah, push it. Put it there.